Hey there, laser makers. Jim, the Michigan laser guy. I uh, just wanted to do a quick tutorial. I had a question come up about how to lay out uh, a rectangle with circles in the corners or, or like holes in the corners um, that were spaced the same from, from each corner. Uh, so let me just uh, do a quick little drawing here to kind of describe what we're looking at here. So we have this, we have this rectangle. We want to put some, uh, you know, put like a, put like a mounting hole or a screw hole or something in the corner. And we want this to be the same in all four corners. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways to accomplish this. Um, but what I like to do, um, first we're going to get it so it's right in the corner. Uh, so what I did there is I selected the circle and then uh, held control and selected the rectangle and then I hit T to align it with the top and then L to align it with the left. Now these are also available in your buttons. You could use this uh, left uh, alignment button and this top alignment button. I just use the shortcuts uh, which do the same thing. Um, so that said, uh, method one, if you know the size of this box or if you want to like offset by a certain amount, what you can do is you could take your circle um, and using the anchor point here, the middle anchor point up here in the in the toolbar, um, you can simply move the position. Let's say I want to move this 10 millimeters to the right and 10 millimeters down. So you can say plus 10 there and plus 10 here. And it's going to move it from the left edge 10 millimeters down and 10 millimeters over. Uh, conversely, and you know what you can do if, if you want to do do the same thing on the right. So you can I'm going to duplicate that. That's Control D, and we're going to align this to the right. Yeah, so we're going to use the right alignment and the top alignment, just so it starts in the in the corner again. Um, so you can do the same thing with positioning. It's a minus ten. And with the Y position, it's going to be plus 10 again, because we're going from the top down. And so there you have it, another, uh, another circle in the same exact position on the opposite side of the box. Um, so that's method one. Uh, another method you could use is you could group this guy. So you could select this and this. I'm going to group those with Control G. And we're going to duplicate that with Control D. And we're just going to mirror it. Boom. Um, so now what you have is uh, you have two separate objects. So if we just move one over. So we're just going to move one to the right so you can see. So we have two separate objects here. Um, you could, since it's a rectangle, you could center those. Um, in the center of this one, or you can make them concentric. Um, but this this relies on a couple other things happening here. So you're, you're going to have to eventually ungroup this and probably either delete this rectangle or set it to like a tool layer. Um, so if you did that, you know, you could group that and make them all concentric again. Um, so you could do this, you could duplicate this again, and you could mirror it, and you could duplicate it again, and mirror it the other direction, and you have four, but we're going to do some a different way here. Get rid of all this stuff that I did. Alright, there we go. All right, so we're back to just our first one here. Um, so the next way you could do this is you could duplicate this and you could rotate it, but it's not a rectangle, so you'd have to rotate it twice to get it to the opposite corner, or it's not a square, so it won't rotate exactly right. Um, so now you could select all these, ungroup these all, 
select one of your rectangles and delete that. So now we're left with a rectangle and our two dots. So now you can group that. You have to group it. Yeah. So you could you actually don't have to group it. You could just duplicate it. Select all duplicate. And then mirror. You end up with an extra rectangle here. Oops, delete that. Uh, so there you have it. There's yet another way to produce your corners. Um, so let's let's do uh, let's do another one here for fun. Um, this is a little easier if you actually have a, a if your shape is a fixed size, right? So we're gonna say this is a 300, uh, 350. Yeah, we're gonna make it a gonna make it a square. I don't know. Make it a square here. And we'll put our put our circle back ten over ten down. Um so if we know that our if we knew that our circle yeah, so like you could use the array tool. It's a little more complicated because you have to do math and figure this out, uh, figure out the distance between the, the circles. It's not really a, a good way to do that with the array tool. What we could do though is uh, once we figure out one of them, you know, we could we could always create a couple circles here. Just kind of put them somewhere roughly in the right spot. We know where our first one is. Um, so we could align this one to this one. We'll use the left alignment. And use the top alignment for this one. Um, still pretty much have to always align uh, align the align something. Um, so here we minus ten. Now we can use this guy. Use the bottom alignment. And this guy we need to align right. So we're gonna give him minus ten. This guy we can align uh, with this guy. So, um, as you can see, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. I'm sure I didn't even cover all of them. There's so many different possibilities for how to how to lay this out. I just wanted to cover those um, and give you a pretty good idea of some of the different things you can do using alignment tools, mirroring, uh, rotation, uh, the rotation hotkey. If you want to rotate something 90 degrees, is um, the period key. There's also the delete key on the keypad. Um, or I think it works also if you use the alignment key. Hmm. Um, you can use the period key on the keyboard as well. I think you can do that without grouping them. Yeah. So you can just select a bunch of objects. You select a bunch of objects. Uh, I see I taught myself something new in this video. Uh, I did not realize I could mirror and a lot and rotate things without grouping them first. So that certainly makes things easier. Um, so I hope this helps. And uh, you know, if you if you like the video, just uh, click the like button. It helps me uh, keep keep things going. Thanks, guys.